having this world if you cannot have eternal life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Our Father who art in heaven. Yeah, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. As we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from our sins. But deliver us from our sins. For thy is the kingdom. For thy is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Forever and evermore. Amen. The grace. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now be with us now and forevermore and forevermore Amen Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah That is so powerful Hallelujah Tap in to that good success Hallelujah Hallelujah That is what we want each and every one of us that good success Amen that God promised His servant Joshua for that more prosperous life. Glory to the King. Today's Glory message is based on the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 7. Amen. 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 This is your apostle Richard Murene Kashia declare good success is mine. Amen. Amen. It is my birthright to be rich. It is my birthright to be rich. It is my I am born to be successful. I am born to be successful. Good success is mine. Good success is mine. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let us declare further. It is my right to be rich. It is my right, my right to be rich. Declare with me, I shall not want. I shall not want. Hallelujah. 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 Let us now tap into that good success. Amen. For that prosperous life is yours. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today's message is based Amen. on the book of Joshua, Amen. chapter 1, verse 7. Amen. I will read an extract from the Bible, from Joshua, chapter 1, verse 7, which Amen. says, Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Hallelujah. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not turn. Amen. Then, Amen. Blessed friend, there's a vast difference between a bad success and a good success. And that is, that is the emphasis of today's message. Amen. 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 We want to achieve that good success. Hallelujah. We have looked at instances such as people who have achieved success, such as Elvis Presley, who became successful, but because he took certain substances that resulted in his untimely demise. Amen. And we do not want that for, for anyone else. Amen. Amen. Even such as uh, the Joker, Amen. he took the, the road to literally until it plagued his mind and he could not live any longer. Amen. Amen. And we have seen uh, recently in the U Magazine, there was a lady who was a very famous actor and yet she no longer wanted to live and she drove herself into a tree. Yeah. So we asked ourselves, despite having so many monetary positions, why is this lady committing suicide? Because she had not found satisfaction in life. So what we do not want is that bad success. We do not want a success that leads to your ultimate demise. We want a success that comes from God and that will lead you to long-lasting prosperity. Amen. 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 Let us look at, at how David, when he prayed, said, Lord, guide me not to go after those things that are too high for me. Amen. Amen. He knew bad success would only destroy Judge. him. Uh, judge. Good success is your task. And he did with judgment in the yeah. Old Testament. Uh, okay, good success is peaceful, joyous, good natured, and enjoyable. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22 tells us the blessing of the Lord makes a person rich. Amen. And he Amen. has no sorrow with it. Glory to God. Declare 
Good success is mine. Good success is mine. Declare I am born to be successful. I'm born to be successful. Declare it is my birthright to be rich. It's my birthright to be rich. Declare it is my right to be rich. It's my right to be rich. Declare with me, I shall not want. I shall not want. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That success is coming your way. Into a funeral was Hallelujah. If it's that uh, miracle, if it's that opportunity, if it's that job, if it's that person that you've been looking to work with, that person, that person that who's going to change your life is coming your way. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your unlimited power to attain good success lies within. You cannot enjoy good success without peace of mind and heart. Amen. My blessed friend, what kind of success do you desire? Is, is it a relationship? Is it financial prosperity? Is it peace of mind? Is it love? You can achieve that success. Amen. There is a very simply very aspect of success. Amen. Success can mean wealth to you, while to another success can mean health. Amen. To another success can mean fame or recognition. Yet to another success can mean experiencing love. Friend, what is good success to you? Real success underlies and includes these things and infinitely more. What do you want, my friend? Declare, good success is mine. Declare, I am born to be successful. I'm born to be successful. Declare, it is my birthright to be rich. It's my birthright to be rich. Declare, it is my right to be rich. It's my right to be rich. Declare with me, I shall not want. I shall not want. Hence, good success is contingent upon a higher ideal than the more mere accumulation of riches. You can bring out good success from within yourself, in your spirit, mind, and physical body. We have seen people becoming famous just by bodybuilding, such as Arnold and Ronnie Coleman. Amen. You can become a runner and become successful. Amen. You just have to think about how you can apply your own physical body to become successful. Amen. Whether it be in becoming an athlete or a runner, and we have seen even a, a, a man by the name of Kim chong -ye. He also became successful by using running to run towards success. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even we've seen, even with Kaska Semenya, she also became successful by using her body to run. So, finally, Okichi, you must run. And if you run, and if you use all your power and all your strength, then you will be successful. Glory. Amen. You can become a builder, a driver, a teacher, or even an actor. Anything that you want to become, you can become. Yeah. We must dream big, and no one can control your, your ability to dream big. Hallelujah. Then put that dream into action. Amen. Who wants to go for it here? You must go for it. Glory. True success constitutes of health, power, youth, happiness, and love. There is a science of assured success, and it is the one I'm sharing with you today. Hallelujah. Today, become optimistic and affirm, dream, create your abundant success. We are doing it now. Take a pencil and start to become an artist. And this is my, my, my painting. Amen. This is my artist. Glory. This is my, my, my drawing. Amen. Hallelujah. Become your Da Vinci. Amen. Become your Leonardo DiCaprio. Those are great artists and you can become like them. Amen. Bless humanity and bring the poverty side. Amen. You can become a musician and put your music onto TikTok and YouTube and Spotify. Amen. The world nowadays is very uh, accessible, mm. unlike in the past. Amen. You can just merely put yourself out there. Any any creativity that you have, you, ch you can just post it onto the internet. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even the song of Galarata, that was somebody who was just using their mind. Yes. Galarata. 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 So, as soon as I... And before he was a jailbird. 
and before he was a jailbird. So let us use our own God-given talents. And you will surprise the world with your God-given talents. Even Brenda Fassi was born in poverty in Cape Town and yet she was able to turn her knife around and sing classics to South Africa. Amen. 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 And we even see it with the case of a person such as Kanye West, the most important thing about him, his, him becoming successful was that he would constantly affirm to himself that he was going to become successful. Yeah. Every chance that he had, whether it was in the car or whether he was walking on the street, every time he would repeat to himself, I'm going to succeed and he wanted to prove to the world that he was going to succeed. Hallelujah. 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 So now you must tell your brothers and you must tell everyone around you that you know that you will succeed. Glory to God. We will succeed together as a group we are going to in succeed. this church. Hallelujah. And this is Opumelel. We will succeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Declare good success is mine. Good success is mine. Declare I'm born to be successful. I'm born to be successful. Declare it is my birthright to be rich. It's my birthright to be rich. Declare it is my right to be rich. The right to be rich. Tap into good success and begin to saturate your consciousness with the idea of success. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Rate your consciousness with the idea of success. Do this until good success begins to shine forth and radiate in every department of your life. Amen. In this way, you become a living embodiment of success. Glory. Become a magnet to attract success in every desired form. The way to tap into good success is to hold on to the three P's of patience, perseverance, and persistence until you become a good success. Hallelujah. Accept that success is yours. We accept accept it. it and express it. Hallelujah. Give thanks to the infinite spirit here and now for your assured and inevitable success. Hallelujah. Say with understanding and in spirit, I am successful. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Approach all your work and all activity in the spiritual attitude of being grateful and happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Declare good success is mine. Good success is mine. Declare I'm born to be successful. I am born to be successful. Declare it is my birthright to be rich. It is my birthright to be rich. Declare it is my right to be rich. It is my right to be rich. Declare with me, I shall not want. I shall not want. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I shall not want. Amen. Amen. You deserve more money and out, an outward form of evidence of good success. Amen. Money represents supply. How much money do you desire, my dear friend? Wow, claim it in the name of Jesus. We are claiming in the name of Jesus. A hundred rand, a thousand rand, one million rand, one billion rand, one billion rand is yours. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. That miracle is coming your way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Dream of all the wonderful things you can do with a billion rand. Even if it's building a home, even if it's building a school in your community, even if it's building a hospital, even if it's buying a car, you can do it. That money is yours. All of those things which you have planned on doing with that money, you'll be able to do them. Money represents the ability to satisfy your desires and basic needs, such as food, clothing, and even shelter. So that is why money is also important. Amen. The Bible in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 12, says money is a defense. It is a defense. A defense. Yeah, Amen. See that? Yes. You need money to defend yourself from Amen. poverty. Amen. Money is a means for enjoyment, unfoldment of expression. What do you want? Name it and claim it. We are naming it. Hallelujah. 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 If you want that new car, declare it. We are declaring that Do you want that new car? Yes. Yes. How? Is no one going to 
to say no. Yemo no mata. Hello, amen, 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 amen. We are all saying yes, and no one is saying no. We all want that new car. Hallelujah. Do you want that new home? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, amen, amen. Name it and claim it. Money represents an ability to acquire books, artwork, pictures, music, and companionship. Money is a means for material supply of all the necessities of life. Hallelujah. Money also represents personal freedom. We want it. You must be free until the necessities of life are assured. Glory to God. Yes, because not. You need that money to be able to be completely free. Yes, and also to be free Umdeni, to be free Abangani, to be free everyone. Let us glorify God, my friend. Glory money, to God. money is a liberator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I believe that we will attain those riches. Amen. I cannot ask you for a million rand if I know that you do not have none. Hallelujah. But now I can see in my mind that you are a millionaire. Amen. And I have declared that in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, That's Lord. why I'm asking you for that million rand because I can see in my mind that you are a millionaire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Each and every one of us, from Aaron to Fanagazungu, we are all going to be millionaires. Amen. Amen. And we are millionaires. We are millionaires. Declare, good success is mine. Good success is mine. Declare, I am born to be successful. Declare, it is my birthright to be rich. Declare, it is my right to be rich. Hallelujah, Kosnati. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. What do you want? Name it and claim it. Whether it be, even if it's jewelry, even if it's just a home, even if it's anything just modest, even if it's just a meal, or even if it's just clothing, whatever your desires, you can have it. Because God wants all good things for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I am commanding you to rise up and walk in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, becoming debt free. Debt is one of the most tyrannical masters of all masters. Amen. I love the axiom that debtor is ever a shame-faced dog with his creditor's name on his collar. We are lender. Do we want to live like that? No. Definitely not. We are rebuking that spirit of being in debt. Amen. We are breaking the chains. Amen. We are breaking the shackles of Glory. debt right now. I can see those chains being broken right now. Glory. I want you to praise God right now for the chains being broken. Praise Him. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, those chains are being broken. Those chains are being broken. Declare, good success is mine. I am born to be successful. I am born to be successful. It is my birthright to be rich. It is my birthright to be rich. It is my right to be rich, Aaron. It's my right to be rich. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Your desire for freedom from all kinds of bondage is legitimate. Chains are being broken right now. Right now we are breaking those chains. You begin to experience what is called the pavilion. The pavilion is a protection. It is like the helmet which we put on our heads. And we remember the story of Manta which I preached about last week. Where Manta wore the helmet because he was living in prison. And what did he do? He did not want people's negative thoughts to go into his head. Because other prisoners were telling him that he will never be free. He will never see his family again. But yet, he wore that helmet and then he would not listen to their negative thoughts. And as he kept contemplating being reunited with his family, he ultimately was reunited with his family. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the power of positive thinking. Amen. That is the power of positive belief. Protect yourself from negative thoughts and also protect yourself from the words of negative people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Declare good success is mine. Good success is mine. I am born to be successful. I am born to be successful. It is my birthright to be rich. My birthright to be rich. It is my right to be rich. My right to be rich. You are moving from being a prisoner 
to actualize in this state and feel the joy of an answered prayer, just like Masa. Hallelujah. And he ended up meeting with Denwak. You are moving from being a prisoner and you are getting that emancipation proclamation Amen. and that Magna Carta. Amen. Good success is that emancipation proclamation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In good success is that Bill of Rights. Amen. Good success is that constitution for each and every one of us. Hallelujah. It says that each of us yes. is entitled to that good success. Each of, one, each of us is entitled to that good success. Amen. The Bible says, why gain the entire world and lose your life? As we have seen with some celebrities. And yet you shall have no other God because his name is Jesus. My blessed friend, money accompanied with disease and unhappiness, bitterness and unforgiveness, unrest and anxiety, Worry and fear is not good success. Not good success. We want success that does, that does not bring anxiety and happiness and all of those ill feelings. Hallelujah. You have to address and eliminate these evils. Glory to God. The story of Scrooge Ebenezer in Charles Dickens was one of a person counting pennies and he would never give even small children anything even if it's just a few cents he was always holding back everything that he had let us not be like that let us not be stingy and greedy let us share with the world what we have Hallelujah. and we also see others who are controlled by their bitcoins and their crypto coins they are constantly staring at their laptop and as a result their businesses have become their god this is what is called busyness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Business where you become busy all the time is busyness. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Godliness with contentment is gain. This does not mean that you become lazy. What does it mean? It means that you become content. You say, it is well with my soul. Amen. Therefore, this is a formula for good success. And it is the one that I am sharing with you. It is well. It is the key to prosperity. It is well. You have to say, it is well with my soul. It is well. It is well. With my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us let us bear that in mind as we continue. The psalmist said, I shall not want. Declare with me, I shall not want. You are the enlightened, awakened steward, adopting the mantra. I will seek first the kingdom of God. I will seek first the kingdom of God and its right living and all things necessary to my happiness will be added unto me. The kingdom of heaven is not your bank manager or in your employer. The kingdom of heaven is yours. Your bank manager cannot withhold that from you. What do you want? Do you want prosperity? Do you want freedom? Do you want the opportunity to travel, to explore? Then that is coming your way. You are here to ultimately discard the old conceptions and outdated customs. Do it right now. Discard those old conceptions. Discard those old conceptions. Declare, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. He leads me on the path of righteousness. The, of righteousness. the word is becoming flesh as you listen to this message. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word, and the word became flesh. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word, and the word became man, Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. In the beginning was your word, and your word is becoming a reality. Hallelujah. What kind of flesh is your word becoming? Is it a, 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 that a word that builds a coffin to bury the dreams of others, or is it a word that builds churches and blesses others? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that it is a word that builds churches and Amen. blesses others. Amen. 
your desire is enough and legitimate. The Bible says, God will give you the desires of your heart. Hallelujah. My friend, what are you desiring today? A car. Are you desiring a car? Are you desiring a job? Are you desiring prosperity? Are you desiring health? Are you desiring energy? Are you desiring vitality? Amen. Are you desiring charisma? Glory. You will get that in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I am feeling that miracle coming your way. Amen. I am feeling that power coming your way. Hallelujah. God is going to shower you with that blessing. Glory to God. This is because you are letting go and letting God. Hallelujah. Declare, I am letting go. Declare, I am letting go. I am letting go. And I'm letting God. I'm letting God. Declare good success is mine. Good success is mine. I am born to be successful. Born to be successful. It is my birthright to be rich. My birthright to be rich. Declare it is my right to be rich. It is my right to be rich. I shall not want. I can hear an abundance of rain in your life right now. Hallelujah. Amen. That miracle is coming in the form of a heavy rain. Hallelujah. Just like the flood is going to come and nothing can stop it. Amen. It's going to be so much. That blessing is over Nigga Gaku. JJ flood cut the cut the side a few months ago. Glory. So that blessing is going to come and it's going to overflow. Amen. Just like a mighty rain. Amen. You are here to share your talent with the world and to give a greater knowledge enthusiasm, inspiration, and efficiency. Glory. Look at the man who hid his talent because he was afraid. And what happened? Jesus condemned him, not because he was a sinner, not because he was adulterous, but because he failed to use his one talent. Oh. God wants you to use your one talent, whatever that may be. Amen. Whatever skill you have, Amen. Yes. Amen. you cannot say, my talent is too small. Amen. I, it's it's not worth using it. You must use it and practice and show the world what you are capable of. You are here to enjoy that good success, which is wholesome and brings sunny moods. Declare, good success is mine. Good success is mine. I am born to be successful. Born to be successful. It is my birthright to be rich. My birthright to be rich. It is my right to be rich. Right to be rich. I shall not want. I shall not want. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me now share with you the story of who Dr. Pen. Dr. Pen turned water into wine. This is a really miraculous story. And Yena. What happened? He tapped into the good success. Amen. What happened was his building caught on fire in old main road a pine town okay yes. and the supermarket and the various doctor's offices liage and they burnt completely down mm -hmm. to the ground Amen. dr pay lost his degree certificate and his equipment in that fire why can i lose nothing nothing he had nothing left hey. in just a two-month period i received a message from dr pay's secretary informing me that he was back in business and he had opened in a recently opened building. Amen. Blessed friend, Amen. observe that a new end Amen. is a beginning. a beginning. What do you want? Do you want that relationship? Do you want that opportunity? Do you want that platform to go and be able to showcase your skills, showcase your talent, showcase your creativity? That platform is going to become your And just like that, Within you and is lies an opportunity for a new beginning. Hallelujah. As a result, I was reminded of Thomas Edison, the inventor, when his warehouse caught fire, he ran and called his son and exclaimed, Julia, come and look and see just how the entire warehouse has been engulfed in a massive fire. Son, son, come and see. For this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Amen. Amen. Friend, like Thomas Edison, do you see your opportunities in the midst of your burning bush? Yes. Though Dr. Pear, as he had said to me, had suffered a tremendous financial withdrawal 
with draw, drawback. He told me, Dr. Kashir, I recognized that wealth was in my mind. Hallelujah. I did it once and I could pick myself up again. Dr. Pig is still carrying on, diagnosing, treating, prescribing, operating, and lecturing part-time at the university in his field. Once his symbols, name, name, his certificates were destroyed in that fire, he did not lose his mind because his training was still in his mind. You just have to use your mind. Amen. Friend, whatever you have lost, you have the mind to recover it all. Amen. We are was lost. Amen. Amen. I get as a pigisa. So that means that we are in agreement that it is all in the mind. Amen. So whatever you have lost, even if it's something that you have lost, whether it be anything in the past, whether it's a lost opportunity, whether it's been a lost car or whether it's been a lost clothing or something like that, you have the power to recover it all. Amen. Just like Dr. Pierre. Hallelujah. His insurance agreed to partly pay for some additional supplies and equipment. And portions that were not covered by the insurance, Dr. Pierre had to seek an alternative to refurbish his new clinic. Amen. But yet, he found the funds. Lord, 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 God is good. In Bangaloko, when I went to his new office, I was amazed at how beautiful and welcoming it was. I exclaimed that the fire was in fact a blessing in disguise. Look at that. Yeah, because the previous building, the, it was leaking and it was poorly ventilated, it was congested, it was a poor location and it had very little in the way of lighting. So it was not even safe to be operating a doctor's practice in a unsanitary environment. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now he was treating his patients Amen. in a clean, safe environment. Look at that. And as a result, he ended up having more clients than ever mm. in a newly completed building. Amen. Having come together with the other doctors and the other people who lost their businesses, such as the physician, the dermatologist, the optometrist, Amen. and the dentist, Amen. they were able to work together and make a bigger operation. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So together, look at the, the tragedy that brought the doctors together and now they are more powerful than when they were working in isolation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why we are working together. Amen. Each of us is working together Amen. to build this church. And then in our own churches in our bodies we grow. Then the churches in our own bodies will also grow. Amen. We grow together and then we also grow in isolation. Amen. We grow together and we grow in isolation. Amen. The four doctors have come together and now they have a larger client base and they have more that they can be able to do by utilizing each other's skills. Amen. Each doctor has a beautiful creative logo in the reception area. Amen. I remarked about his logo and he told me my daughter designed it for me. Amen. Look at that. Amen. Previously, the, the, daughter, the doctor had not thought of such a logo. Amen. He was operating in a dirty, worn-out building that was stifling his medical practice. Fred, what could be choking your life? Amen. He was attracting poor, penny-pinching clientele because his thought process was that of a poverty mentality. Amen. And we are declaring away with the poverty mentality. We are, we are kicking away the poverty mentality. Away, the poverty mentality. away from being like the Ebenezer Scrooge. Away, like Ebenezer Scrooge. Now he's operating in a high class building. He's attracting clientele that are of a high dimension. Amen. Dr. Pear is now soaring with the eagles. Amen. Uh, at the height of our God. Hallelujah. Dr. Pear recognized that his riches were in his mental capacity. Amen. Knowledge to help others, Amen. his ability to contribute towards humanity yes. in general. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Out of the ashes of despair, Amen. you too can change your life. Hallelujah. Do not look at the fire and say that 
things are hopeless, yeah. that everything has burned to the ground. Yeah. Have you ever felt that, you know, you've lost too much? You can never lose too much. Yeah. You can still recover all. Hallelujah. Your urge for service that is to give of your talent to the world yeah. will always find a response in the heart of the universe. And that's what we're doing. Now is your opportunity to put this message into action. Hallelujah. Be strong and courageous. Amen. And soar with the eagles. Glory to God. Declare, good success is mine. Good, good success, success is mine. Declare, I am born to be successful. I am born to be successful. It is my birthright to be rich. It is my birthright to be rich. It is my right to be rich. I, right to be rich. I shall not want. I will not want. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All those wants, all those things that you have needed, they are coming your way. God will not leave you stranded. God will not leave you out of pocket. God will not leave you in isolation. God will not abandon you. God is with you. Say, God has got my back. God has got my back. God has got my back. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me read for, for you Psalm chapter 23 as, as we stand. Let us stand. Let us stand. Let me see one song. The Lord is my banker. The Lord is my banker. Therefore, my, my bank account is in an excellent condition. Therefore, my bank account is in an excellent condition. He makes me to lie down in the consciousness of an ever present abundance. He makes me to lie down in the consciousness of an ever present abundance. He gives me the key to the storehouse. He gives me the key to the storehouse. He restores my faith in his abundant riches. He restores my faith in his abundant riches. He guides me on the path of prosperity for his name's sake. He guides me on the path of prosperity for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the very shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. I shall fear no evil. For he is with me. For he is with me. His silver and his gold. His silver and gold. Secure are secure in the closet of my mind and spirit. Are secure in the closet of my mind and spirit. He prepares a way for me in the presence of death collectors. He prepares a way for me in the presence of death collectors. He fills my wallet with an abundant supply. He fills my wallet with an abundant supply. My measure overflows. My measure overflows. Surely goodness and abundance. Surely goodness and abundance will follow me. Will follow me all the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I shall engage. And I shall engage in commerce. In commerce. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I shall dwell. And I shall dwell in the prosperous mansions. In the prosperous mansions. Of the Lord, of the Lord, my whole life long, my whole life long. Declare, I will fear not. I will fear, I will fear not. not. I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, we can stand. Yes.
and to show how we are starting our ministry. Uh, you can sit down, Richard. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We start our ministry. Glory, glory, dear blessed friend. This has been you as minister in Christ Jesus, prophet, professor, Dr. Wajiro Gashie. My blessed friend, I pray that you have been blessed by this life-transforming message. And my blessed friend, that you are going to bless this ministry of hope and restoration on my Gmail, wanjirogashia at gmail.com because that is the will of God in our lives. Now I'm entering into a closing prayer, my friend. Father, I thank you for your will that is being done in our life. Father, I thank you that my friend's purpose, possessions, and power is being made known according to your mysterious will. Father, we are going to do your will from this day onwards. We are declaring, Lord, we are going to worship you. And we are not going to wait for another to worship on our behalf. Lord, we are going to sow into this ministry of hope and restoration. Because we are not going to wait for another to sow on our behalf. Lord, we are going to put on the full armor for ourselves. And we are not going to wait for a pastor to put it on our behalf. Father, we are doing your will. Because if we do not worship you, if we do not give the sacrifice, if we do not put on the full armor, then your will is not being done. Father, I pray that this word, where the Holy Spirit has penetrated even the most stony heart. Lord, I thank you because you have touched somebody in a significant way. The parastasia, the Holy Spirit, has helped us to wrestle powers and principalities. Father, I thank you and I bless you right now. I thank you, Lord, because you have filled my dear listeners with that more abundant life. Lord, give them joy. Renew them with a new attitude. Give them renewed strength that passes all understanding. As they do your will, Lord, let them be filled with a holy boldness. Friend, lift up your hand and open your mouth and allow the Holy Spirit to take over. Father, I thank you for your will. We will never be the same again. Because your will, Lord, is to do your will, Lord. And your will, Father, is to prosper us. Blessed friend, share your comments, your testimony, and prayer requests. Because that is the will of God in our life. Father, I thank you. I bless you for these leaders. I appreciate my leaders right now, and I bless you, Lord, for them. I cannot thank you, Lord, enough for those who have listened to this word. I cannot thank you, Lord, enough for those who have blessed this ministry. Father, I thank you because water has turned into wine. Poverty has turned into riches. Doubt has turned into faith. Despair has turned into joy. Depression has turned into wholeness. Weaknesses have turned into strength because that is your will, Lord. We will no longer live like orphans. We are no longer going to live hiding ourselves and hiding our talents. We are no longer going to be pressing wheat in a wine press. Because, Lord, you have called us the mighty woman of valor. Because, Lord, you have called us the mighty man of valor. Lord, forgive us our trespasses. Because in the past we missed the mark. But 
Lord, now we are saying, let your will be done. From now on, our motto is, Lord, to do your will. Our will, Lord, is to do your will, Lord. From now, we are saying, we are making that our motto. To make your will our will, Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, I thank you for that 100 people who have listened to this life-transforming message. I thank you, Lord, for that brother and sister who have sold into this ministry of hope and restoration at wanjirogashi at gmail.com. Father, I thank you. Father, I'm giving you glory and honor. Lord, I'm thanking you for my friends who have joined me as I share this life-transforming message. Blessed friend, if you are going through an emptiness in any area of your life, I request you to allow me to pray for you. Today the Lord is borrowing your empty. Bring that emptiness in your relationship. And the Lord will fill you. Bring that emptiness. Heavenly Father, right now I come in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bow my head. I pray for every empty pot. Lord, I'm praying for every one out exhausted person. Lord, I'm praying for every empty mama, every empty papa walking around the house feeling empty. Every grandpa and every grandma and child and student who has lost their smile. Lord, I'm praying over the empty faces that their smile will be rekindled afresh. Their finances and emotions and relationship will be restored. Lord, let your oil flow and cleanse every center of our beings. Lord, I'm reclaiming every empty pot that is watching this video all over the world. I can see answers and creativity filling the empty pot. I can see your power and integrity filling those empty pots. I can see the discipline filling those empty pots, Lord. Lord, I can see your three P's becoming a reality. Your purpose, your power and possession in Christ Jesus filling those empty pots. Lord, I can see the three P's of persistence, perseverance and patience filling those pots. Lord, I can see consistency and distinctiveness filling those pots. Lord, I can see gratitude filling those empty pots. Lord, I can see many who are blessing this ministry of hope and restoration because you have filled their pots, Lord. Today, the Spirit is saying, bring your empty pots. The Lord, you are saying, you want to borrow our empty pots, Lord, not when we have it together. Father, we are bringing our empty pots to overflow. We are going to overflow afresh in our heart. We can flow again, Lord, even though the pandemic has hit us so hard. I can feel an oil of flowing in the spirit of men. I can feel the oil flowing in our mind. I can feel the oil flowing in our families, Lord. I can feel the oil flowing in our creativity, Lord. God has just tilted the pot and he has tilted it so that you can receive that blessing. We are catching that oil that is flowing. We are opening our mouth and catching the flow, Lord. Father, we are thanking you. Right now, Lord, we are standing on the verge of that great flow of the Holy Spirit who is speaking something into our hearts as we will allow this word to become flesh in our lives. Father, we are going to say as you have commanded us to say, we are going to sow into this ministry of hope and restoration. We are going to overflow because, Lord, you have commanded us. Father, we are tearing those business plans and new concepts of ourselves and we are being filled afresh with you, Lord. Fill us, Lord. We have come empty before you, King. Blessed friend, come empty. Yes, hallelujah. Be blessed as we meet another time. This is you as minister in Christ Jesus, Prophet, Professor Dr. Manjiro Gashiri. Amen.